Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're back uh, live and uh, unedited, of course. Here we are with the Class 1 lesions. Uh, some of you will argue, my critics will argue, well, why do those? Those are something you can probably want to watch. Let's find out if it's worth watching, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go after. We have now got the ADA telling us that uh, we can now record a... Uh, record the depth of these areas of decay if they do encroach the dentin layer and we would list them as a D specifically a D1 or a D2 not to be confused with the dental student uh, first year second year a D1 would be uh, just touching or involving the cement uh, the dentin enamel junction and a D2 is well into dentin uh, I can see dentin on that one easily. Let's see how far down this one goes. A little air, please. Suction only. Okay, air. And that one's a good millimeter in, but it's that one's a little less. This one's just barely. I'm just going to paint that a little bit. Okay. On to the next tooth. Fissurotomy. I guess you would also think about something called a fissurotomy. That one's well into dentin. And I'm going to take a round burr now, a small round burr, a half round or a quarter round burr. And um, we'll clean that out. Okay, I'll take a quick break here until I need to go get a quarter round burr. B talking a little bit while we get that um, I guess the argument is you know if you leave these lesions and just watch them over time they'll probably be just uh, dormant well I've seen the dormant ones become active so 31 years experience I've seen issues so we'll have to uh, check the uh, the research again on some of this uh, depending upon where you're coming from your with your research. But this is active decay, and I guess I could have left that one, but uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't. And that one's actually doing a little dog leg toward the mesial buckle. All right. So you see the difference between the two? Patient's numb. Why not just go ahead and go in there and do it? You, sh you have enough visual. On the x-ray, absolutely could not see this type of decay. Here, we're here. A little bit. Maybe you can... I won't touch that one. That one is just... We'll come up in here and clean this one out. Good millimeter and a half, well into Denton. That one's dog legging right on up toward the mesial. Okay. You got the idea, see? They're not so two dimensional as most x rays are. Okay, so we'll air that dry again. I'm going to come in with a cavity cleanser. And this next segment, what we'll do is uh, get them ready. Now I'll put the band in place. I'm going to use a, a rinse that again. I'm going to go ahead and use a band. I'm going to cut the tips of this band off. It's a 4.5 uh, band. I'll go ahead and just dry them off a little bit more and get rid of that moisture. Recheck the rubber dam. And we got all our teeth lined up, ready to go. 
I like to put in a wood wedge. It's going to be an orange base wedge. I'm going to slide that in first. And to get good separation, maybe go back in while we're waiting for that. Just recheck this margin again. Make sure everything looks good. Come in from the side. There might be a little bit of plaque in there. We don't want anything else. There's the fracture. So I'm going to go off uh, video now. I'm going to take a photograph of that fracture. I'll be right back with the next segment.